Well, some Seymour residents have come together to lend a helping hand to one another all throughout the holiday season. And what started out as just a small gesture has grown to be so much more. Markeisha Jackson spent time with the Seymour Helping Hands group. And Markeisha, what's the inspiration behind all they do? Lauren, these residents say they just want to be able to help each other out when they can and truly show just what it means to be a good neighbor. For residents of Seymour, what started out as a small Facebook group intended to help just a few people in need has grown into something much bigger. We were really just kind of culminating and getting together as a group to come up with something that we could do to help out and have a bigger impact. And so through Kimberly, we were able to really make this Seymour Helping Hands a larger group of us individuals. For the past nine months, Seymour Helping Hands has been helping the many in need in and around the area, whether that be donating food or bicycles to children in need or giving Christmas presents. It's something Helping Hands President Kimberly Stevenson says they need it in this community. We were just the middleman. Then that's the whole point of this is to be the one that, you know, is kind of in the middle. The community does the stuff and our volunteers do the work. We just point them and find out the information that's needed where it's needed. Stevenson says dozens in the community have gotten involved with even their youngest neighbor stepping up to volunteer. It makes me feel like I really have a purpose in this community and putting effort into something other than just going to school and then coming home and doing nothing. It gives me something to do other than just that. They all say when they see the smiles on their neighbors' faces, they know that what they're doing is all worth it. Simple as a um, Christmas present wrapped up that socks. I mean, the face on somebody when you take them a, a card and a wrapped present that may have not got one, that just makes it all worthwhile. It like overwhelms me when I just see just big smiles show up on their face when we hand them like little toys and stuff. And they plan to be right here in Seymour for a very long time. Hopes is that, again, the sky's the limit. We can go ahead and keep going from there and, and making sure that we go ahead and, and continue to build Seymour and even the surrounding areas to go ahead and make it a world that I think we're all going to be happier living in. Lending a helping hand when it's needed the most. The Seymour Helping Hands group hopes to have a building for the organization in 2022, and they have a fundraiser to help reach that goal. You can find information on how to donate over on our website. I think they're going to get that building. That's awesome. Okay, Marquisha, thanks so much.